All right, here at Lemons, you guys know that we always talk up the uncompetitive teams. We love the Sunbeams, we love the Pintos, we love the Vegas. Truth is, that's a percentage of our competitors. There's another percentage that's trying to be competitive, and you know what? That's totally fine. They can exist peacefully on track together. We've proven that over years and years of Lemons Racing. So one good example of a competitive team is you mad bro. They've got a V8 E36 BMW. They're always towards the top of the standings. I think they've won a race. I don't know, it doesn't matter. They're good drivers, they've got a good car. Well, one day they decided, you know what? We've done this competitive thing. Let's add another car to our stable that is maybe not so competitive. And if you're a competitive BMW team and you're looking for a car that is not gonna be competitive, well, what's out there? A 524 diesel BMW sedan. Now, they didn't wanna be competitive, but they're also not masochists, so they didn't get like a diesel Oldsmobile. But this is pretty close. Underpowered, slow, hard to work on, noisy, terrible car. So they ran this thing in totally unmodified spec at Button Willow, 2.4 liter diesel, automatic transmission. It ran the whole race. It was incredibly but slow, but it kind of did what they set out to do. They had their V8, now they've got the diesel. The diesel is just kind of tootling around in class C. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't break, it was terrible. I think they succeeded in what they were trying to do. But the thing is, if you're wired to be a competitive bunch of guys, you, maybe you just can't take that. Well, they just couldn't take it. So they said, you know what? There's a middle ground here. We're gonna have to do something. They said, we're gonna get an Ecotech. Ecotechs are everywhere. Manuals, not so much. They found a gearbox out of a Saturn Sky attached to another Ecotech, which they did not get from the junkyard, put the car together and brought it to Sonoma. Well, guess what blew up? The Ecotech. So during the race, where were they? Back at the same pick and pull, pulling that motor out, finishing the car. All right, so you'd think that these guys having gone from a slow but reliable car to a faster but blown up car would have regretted that decision, but they really don't. The diesel it just didn't jibe with this team's wiring. They like to go faster. They think the Ecotech can work and they've got plans to do that for the future. And you know, at the end of the day, they've been around Lemons long enough to know that the real secret to speed is really behind the firewall and not in front of it. And let's be clear, faster is not the same as fast. When I asked these guys, look, why? Why you're competitive? Why are you doing this thing? They said, look, this is really simple. The whole point here is to have fun with our buddies. We get to play with it every weekend. We're on the first name basis with all of the junkyards in the area. That's why we're doing it. I get that. Yeah, I totally get that. That's the whole point of lemons. <laughs>